Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks and welcome back to the first tank request series since I've got back from New York and today we are playing in the M4 Improved. This video, uh, this video, this tank was the most requested tank at the three videos previous while I was in New York. This one came out on top with k I believe it was, with nine votes. So that's pretty good. Um, and yeah, so as per always guys, I'm gonna, um, run through a couple of the statistics of the tank then I'll play a couple of games one or two games at the end of the video but before we do all that I need you guys to vote on what tank you want me to play next um, now you can pick any one of my tanks tier 2 up to tier 10 there is only two rules which is it can't be the Black Prince and it can't have been played on the tank request series in the last three months just so everything gets a chance to get a look in and I'm not playing the same tanks over and over again. There might be some exceptions if it hasn't been played like last time if it's a tank that I really really like. But a general rule is not in the past three months. So it could be anything guys. E75, um, Rheumatol Scorpion, 58 Mertz. My brand new, my brand new baby, the Object 260. Mm -mm -mm. Um, M41 Walker Bulldog, absolutely loving that at the minute as well. Patriot, um... Pattern, Liberté, WZ111, Speerpanzer, Leopard Prototype, uh, VK, BTSV, KV2 already done, um, I7, I4, Ram2, Fury, Batchat, AMX CDC, anything you like, guys. Doesn't have to necessarily be the ones that I've just said about, but today we're playing in the M4 Improved. Let's just get rid of some of that. Now, what is the M4 Improved? The M4 Improved is a tank that you don't actually see that a lot. A, a lot it is quite a rare tank. It's a weird-looking M4 Sherman, pretty much. It's a Tier 5 American Medium Premium tank, and I have it because it got released on sale. It's an American Medium tank, and I bought it. Didn't look, research anything into it before buying it. I just straight up bought it because <laughs> I am stupid. Um, so, yeah, this is pretty much like, have, have money game, don't care. Um, so this is the M4 Improved, and it's a tank that I haven't actually played in a long time, and that's because I prefer the Ram 2 over the M4. Um, the Ram 2, in my opinion, has got a better gun, better armour. The M4, I think, is slightly faster, um, but not enough to warrant me playing this thing over that. However, it's a pretty good tank. It's not too bad. Um, it's pretty. It's pretty much an M4 Sherman. The armor's meh. The mobility's pretty good. It's a bit faster. Um, camera range's alright. View range is very, very nice for a um. What tier of vehicles this? Tier five tank. Um, and just the gun. It's it's quite a, an underwhelming gun. As per M4 Sherman's, it's got the historical M4 Sherman gun. Well, at least the historical 75, the 75 millimeter M3. Um, with 92mm of penetration on the standard rounds, 127 on APCR. That's what lets this tank down quite a lot, is that. Uh, 110 average damage. Decent rate of fire, but not particularly great. 0.44 dispersion and 2.1 seconds aim time. This is the same gun that you get on the M3 Lee, so that's why it's a bit underwhelming at Tier 5. And especially when you have to go up against Tier 7s, so you want to kill yourself. Um, so, yeah. Um, equipment why um... Uh, this tank for me is quite fun to play. I don't know how it would be because I've only ever played this tank with a good crew. Because as you can see at the minute, I've got a six skill crew in this tank. Because um, obviously they're my M48 pattern crew. So I'm not going to go through the crew skills because we'll be here forever. I've got an American Medium um, tank crew skills video if you want to go, if you really want to know the crew skills. But here they are. Pause the video. Have a look if you need to. Um, and yeah, just because otherwise we'll be here forever because I'll justify all changes and blah, 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 blah. You know I like to go into things with details, guys. So it's best to just skip over it rather than waste half an hour of your life. Um, Equipment-wise, you're going to want to fit a gun rammer because no shit Sherlock Holmes. Um, I've also gone for vents just for 5% extra major crew skill. And then for your third equipment slot, I haven't put one on because um, I don't play this tank that much and I don't really want to waste the credits. I'm going to put binos on just because obviously they're free. Um, but coated optics isn't a bad shout just to have mega mega view range at tier 5. Uh, possibly a wet ammo rack because this thing does get ammo racked relative 
relatively often. Toolbox maybe. Actually, I know I'm gonna put a toolbox on, because you know repairs and stuff. I've got decent view range. Don't need any more. So yeah, that's pretty much everything you need to know about the M4 Improved, guys. Um, make sure that you go vote on what um, tank you want me to play next. Just simply write a comment down in the comments, and then whilst you're down there, vote on what tanks you want me to play next. And yeah, without further ado, let's go get into the gameplay. Right, so here we go, guys. First game in, and yeah, it's pretty. It's an okay game. Tier six game, so not not too not too shabby. Now I'm regretting putting the toolbox in. If I had, if I would have had binos, I would have gone to the middle and spotted across. But um, 400 meters view range is not quite gonna cut the mustard. Hmm. I'm gonna head. Or shall I try it anyway? I might try it anyway. See what happens. See if we can get some shots across. A couple of things that I just forgot to mention about um, this tank. 10 degrees of gun depression, always nice. Um, shell velocity is really quite low, as you can see. It's not particularly fast. Um, what else? There's something else. Oh yeah, the hit points are rather low as well. Comparing it to the, um, well, comparing it to the Ram 2 at least, anyway. The hit points on this thing, 480. Not particularly great compared to the 610 on the ram. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There we go. That's what we wanted. That's me. See how just slow? See how slow the shell velocity is. Slow the shell velocity is. Good, Max. You've been back from New York a couple of days and you've forgotten how to England again. Excellent. What we like to see. Do you think there's gonna be someone there? Try it. Put four in there. Oh. Okay. That guy got wrecked. There's a gap there. Yeah, the actual accuracy on this tank is really bad. The aim time's pretty good at 2.1 seconds, but the accuracy is really bad. I think it's 0.44, I think it is. Oh, bugger. Having an 82 shoot at you is never a good thing. Okay, do I go back to base and defend against those guys? What have we got? We've got VK and a KV85. No, I can't really. Just the shell velocity in there, poor inaccuracy. This thing is most certainly not a sniper. See, I'm gonna struggle to pen this kid. Even with a PCR. It's a tier 5 tank destroyer, for God's sakes. There we go. Oh, lovely. Alright, not quite. Oh, balls, balls, balls. M6. We've got to repair that. Where the hell is that firefly? I swear I can see him. Oh, I can. Tracked him. Beautiful. Tier 6 tank out of the game. Very nice. So the M6. I have now. Oh. Beautiful. Okay, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and support this KV2. Because obviously him being a KV2, yes, he can take one guy out of the game every 30 seconds. But there's three of the guys on him. I'm going to head around this way and then... Once we're dealt with these guys, head over towards the artillery. It's been a pretty decent game, actually. Oh, I'm not spoiled. 
Heavy 2 is a good player, which is nice. See this Cromwell. Yes, that was an important kill. Okay. I've got to use my hit points a bit here. Not just throw them away though, Max. We'll communicate with our KV2 friend. And also I'm gonna load APCR for this VK because he might get a bit tricky at times. Hopefully KV2 will kill that guy. Gonna struggle to pin this Sherman. Okay, not in the turret. He was using the top turret. You could see, because he was using the um, 76 millimeter gun, that meant that he was using the top turret. Um, well, the top 76, which is the 76 M1A2. Um, and if he's using that gun, he can't use the stock. Well, you can't use that gun with the stock turret. And if he's using the stock turret, it means you can pin him. The more you know. It's just little things like that, guys. Little things like that enable... it. It's, it's things like that which take you from being able to be, like, a green player to being blue or... Th things like that. I mean, you, you can be incredibly good at the game, but little tips like that, it's just things that you can miss out on. And that's what makes you just that little bit better, especially when you're getting towards... Can we hit him? Can we hit him? Yes, we can. That was actually a really, really good game. Oh, we could have invited the KV2 to the platoon, but... Eh, that, 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 that's, 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 that's a pretty good game. Oh, wow, it was an ace. Really? I didn't think it was quite that good. I suppose, though, 1,000 damage in Tier 5 in a Tier 6 game. 1,000 um, spotting as well. Yeah, that's a pretty good game. Um, yeah, we'll play one more. Uh, yeah. I just... Uh, it probably won't be as good. I really haven't played this tank in the longest of times. And yay! My team is awesome. Um, No idea what we're going to do this game. Alright, let's... Only nine. Obviously, their top tiers aren't particularly great along with our top tiers. But. They're still KV2s, KV85s, and OIs. If KV85s using the 390 alpha damage gun, the health that I've got really does not go a long way. KV2 obviously doesn't even need to pen. And he can pen. Um. Yeah, OIs, again, it doesn't matter what gun they're using, they're still going to take a lot off. Rudy's T-3485 and T Type 58, all pretty much the same tank. Um, that's going to hurt. 88 is going to hurt. There's not really anything in this game that that's nice for me to fight, to be honest. Because I would say the Stritzfungs, but they're the best players on the enemy team. It's about the 88 that gets spotted, however. Sir, might be able to get a shot or two into him. Penetration. Oh, strikes. Oh, okay. I, I fired that, but it didn't for some reason. I didn't get spotted, so it's not too shabby. There's no artillery, so I feel safe. Like here, if there was artillery, oh, 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 I missed control and pressed the Windows key. Whoops. That's my bad. That's my bad. I would go in at these these M M uh, Stritzfungs, but okay, I'm spotted. There's probably a Hellcat. Oh no, T67. You know that crazy overpowered son of gun. I can't afford to trade with these guys. My alpha damage is 40 less. Okay, he bounced off me. Oh, show me. In this thing, in a good match, oh, there's the Hellcat. I knew the Hellcat would be somewhere. Oh, well, he's pretty much thrown his life away to put one shot into me and one shot into the um, Jumbo. That 
was a clutch as hell shot. Oh, our team is going to lose this game really badly. I just need to do what I can. Yeah, the hell has got that. I'm going to start getting ready to GTFO here. There's not really anywhere I can run, to be honest. Because I'm going to get wrecked if I go back that way, and I'm going to get wrecked if I go forwards. Ah, oh, eh. Picked up one of the kills. Unfortunately, the second guy there did manage to finish us off. Not a lot I can do there when my team's pretty much... Well, they've lost the north. They're not making any progress on the south. And I'm in the middle against their two best players and take a big hit. I mean, the Hellcats alpha damage isn't crazy. It's good. It's not crazy, but it takes off half my hit points in one shot. You can really do without that, let's be honest. And look at all these tank destroyers. They're not they're not even looking the right way. Ugh. Oh, this game was just appalling. Oh I Okay, yeah, good. Oh I got sideways. Is he gonna kill him? No, he's not even gonna kill him. Anyway, I'm not gonna bother watching the end of this game, guys, because it's painful to watch. Um so yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Sorry, the well, the first gameplay was pretty decent. The second one was all right, considering how long we had. Um, but make sure you go vote on what tank you want me to play next, guys. I'm just going to put the 260 in my carriage, because... Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I can't believe I finally got it. I never thought I would ever get it. Um, so, yeah, make sure you go pick... Uh, vote on what tank you want me to play next, guys. Um, in the meantime, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I've got some really good content coming in the next couple of days, guys. So if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing because it helps me massively. It really encourages me. And yeah, not a lot else to say. Oh, post-game stats. Let's just have a look. Did we finish top on the team on damage? No, not quite. Oh, IKV2 did more, but that's to be expected. Hellcat did quite a lot. Um, Yeah. Other than that, not a lot else to say, guys, but thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.